Hey guys, um, recently I had the privilege to record with Lizzie Hale for the feature track on the album, Shatter Me. And so I'm gonna give you guys a little behind the scenes peek at what went down and how it went. So cut me from the This song is very, very obviously different for a Lindsey Sterling track because I've never written lyrics before. I've never gotten to blatantly say what I feel. I mean, all my songs have meaning behind them and I try to express that very strongly through the emotion that I want the song to feel for everyone. This time I got to literally say, this is what I, this is what I want to share. It was so important for me to find the right singer for it because um, I had in my mind the idea of who I wanted. You know, I, I love vocalists like Haley Williams from Paramore and Amy Lee from Evanescence. So I really wanted like a powerhouse rock star female vocalist. I came across Lizzie Hale's videos and Hailstorm's stuff. And I was just blown away by the energy that Lizzie has on stage, on camera, you know, in her tracks. I immediately got really excited and was just keeping my fingers crossed that she would have a window to come and, and do this with me. So we reached out to her management and really quickly they responded right back that Lizzie was really excited about the track. I actually first met Lizzie there at the No Excuses studio in Santa Monica. Oh hi! So nice to meet you! Thank you so much for doing this. It's oh, well, thank awesome. you for, for doing it. And it's very cool, so. I had actually never heard of Lizzie before. I'm ashamed to admit it. Um, and it's even funnier because she had never heard of me. And we both kind of became immediate fans of each other's work. I think it's so cool, like, you know, looking through all your videos, I'm like, dang, like, they, I feel like we have kind of similar stories are just kind of... I, I think so too. I just think you shred, so... I'm oh, just like, thank you! To, to girl power Hell yeah. right here. <laughs> so Lizzie was recording and then she came back into the booth where we were all, you know, listening and she asked me, what is this song about? So, do you have some kind of story that yeah. what it means to you type of thing? Yeah, so this is kind of... Um, so it's about the ballerina that spins in a music box. Yeah. And um, she's a metaphor kind of for the experiences I went through when I had an eating disorder and just feeling like I was kind of trapped in this world. I was so, you know, consumed with perfection. You know, she thanked me. She said, oh, thanks so much for sharing that with me. <laughs> Thank you so much. That's yeah, awesome. That's, that's kind of what it is. So, um, you know, portray that however you feel. Absolutely. Then what is it? Oh. <laughs> You strong bitch you. That's oh. awesome. <laughs> I love that. That's great. Then she went back into the recording booth and just belted out the chorus. So cut me from the line. Dizzy spinning endlessly. Somebody make me feel alive and shatter me. It was like she was personifying what I had felt when I was in that, that state. I could hear it in her vocals as she just like literally like screamed, shatter me. Hell yeah, awesome. Woo! So the producer and one of the co-writers on this track was um, Silas. So this main harmony thing is kind of a lower one. Um, I'll, let me throw in that track real quick. He actually did seven of the tracks on the album. He wrote Beyond the Veil with me and produced it. And uh, after that, I just kept going back to him because I felt like he and I just really connected in a musical energy level. As far as you know, my involvement in getting to, uh, to, to work with Lindsay, it's been kind of a dream come true. I mean, I come from uh, a classical music background as does Lindsay. This is really the first time that I've been able to explore that, especially in the electronic realm, and doing stuff that's kind of geared toward the club, but with the integrity of classical music, and to be able to merge those two worlds has, it's been a challenge, but it's also been like the most exhilarating thing I think I've ever done. He's awesome because he doesn't think he's awesome, right? Yes. <laughs> One of these days she's gonna figure it out and and then we're done. We're yeah. done. The moment, the moment you guys do? stop looking, I like walk out the door. I'm like, nailed it. <laughs> While Lizzie was recording the track, I was sitting next to Joe, uh, her guitar player. We were kind of cracking jokes and getting to know each other. He was, you know, kind of telling me a little bit more about Lizzie and what she's actually like. Lizzie is the cheesiest person I know. Like, she writes the most hilarious, cheesy 
she listening to us? No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Annabelle. Not all. Some, a lot of them are really awesome. But then she'll just, you know, give in to the cheese. Yeah. And it's just like, that's, that's awesome. It was a very nice, real way to get to know someone. Not only to meet them in the studio, but then to like, you know, when you meet the people around someone that know them, you get to see them in a different light. So Lizzie brought me a gift as well. Um, she brought me this beautiful, really cool necklace. I, I brought you a present. So oh. I started a like a clothing jewelry line thing uh -huh. and I brought you one of my necklaces. Oh, so cool. You, you don't have to like it, you can give it to somebody else. But <laughs> no, I'm I thought excited. I'd bring it just in case. Oh my gosh. She has a jewelry and fashion line that she just recently started as well. So she's extremely multi-talented. Wouldn't match with this little preppy outfit I'm wearing, but <laughs> don't worry, I can be cool and like edgy no. too. I really can. That's so cute, I love it. Now I have a very special like one of a kind necklace from Lizzie Hale. Like if I didn't love this, I wouldn't be here. And if I didn't totally, if I wasn't totally behind your cause, you know, I wouldn't oh, be here. So you. I'm, I'm, the pleasure's all mine. Just thanks for thinking of me. <laughs> yeah, know? absolutely. I was so happy with how the recording session went. Lizzie, I'm like a new like fan girl towards her. I absolutely love her. And, um, and also the track, the track was magic and I cannot wait for you guys to hear it. Um, so stay tuned, the music video will be coming out really shortly here, and, I, and um, Lizzie is featured in it as well, of course. And please, you guys, follow Lizzie on Twitter and on Instagram, and see them on tour, because you will never see a girl rock out as hardcore as Lizzie Hale. So check them out, and please support Hailstorm. Um, all their stuff is in the description below. And as well, I'm going on tour soon, so I hope to see you on the road. And last but not least, my album, you can click here somewhere on the screen to uh, pre-order the album and it's out, it's coming out on the 29th of this month. Thank you guys. Thank you so much for all your support and I will hopefully see you soon.